Dear students, I hope you are all well and studying in your home and enjoying your online classes. Last week, as you know, we started the chapter Synthetic Fibers and Plastics, in which we already read about the synthetic fibers and what are they and their types. And first type, rayon, we already read about it. Today, we are going to read about nylon. Nylon is another man-made fiber. In 1931, it was made without using any natural raw material from plant or animal. It was prepared from coal, water and air. So, why it is a synthetic? Because it is not made from any plant or animal material. Okay. It was pro prepared from first time in 1931 by coal, water and air. It was the first fully synthetic fiber. Nylon fiber was strong, elastic and light. It was lustrous and easy to wash. So it became very popular for making clothes. Okay, Due to its strongness, elasticity and lightness. We use many articles made from nylon such as socks, ropes, tents, toothbrushes, car seat belts, sleeping bags, curtains, etc. As you seen in figure 3.3. .3. Okay, these socks, ropes, toothbrushes, this curtain is made from nylon. Nylon is also used for making parachutes and ropes for Rock climbing, a nylon thread is actually stronger than a steel wire. You can see in figure use of nylon fibers. Other uses are in parachute and in uh, making these ropes for rock climbing. It is stronger than a steel wire. Let us find out. You have to do activity. Take an iron stand with a clamp. Take a cotton thread of about 60 cm length. Tie it to the clamp so that it hangs freely from its uh, from it as shown in figure 3.5 at the free end uh, suspended. You can see here like this you have to uh, make a process. Okay. An iron stand with a thread hanging from the clamp. A pan so that weight can be placed in it. Add weight one by one till the thread breaks. Note down the total weight required to break the thread. This weight indicates the strength of the fiber. Repeat the same activity with threads of wool, polyester, silk and nylon. Tabulate the data as shown in table 3.2. Arrange the threads in order to their increasing strength. Okay, so you have to do this activity Objection three table three point two uh, types of thread or fiber total weight required to break the thread. Okay, cotton, wool, silk, nylon. Okay, so you have to just calculate the weight after which its thread or fiber will be break. Then you have to arrange them according to their strongness. You may use a hook or nail on the wall for hanging the fibers and a polythene bag at the outer end in place of weight you may use marbles or pebbles of smaller size precaution note that all threads should be the same length and almost of the same thickness okay that's why it will be a valid test polyester and acrylic polyester is another synthetic fiber Fabric made from this fiber does not get wrinkled easily. It remains crisp and is easy to wash. So it is quite suitable for making dress material. You must have seen people wearing polyester shirts and other dresses. Terylene is a popular polyester. It can be drawn into very fine fibers that can be woven like any other yarn. Okay. Now, PET, polyethylene, 
terephthalate is a very familiar form of polyester. It is used for making bottles, utensils, films, wires and many other useful products. So if you have a plastic bottle you can uh, see just uh, at the base of it and you can see easily that PET will be written on that. Look around and make a list of things made of polyester. Poly plus ester is actually made up of repeating units of chemical called an ester. Esters are the chemicals which give fruits their smell. Fabrics are sold by name like polycoat, polywool, terricoat, etc. As the name suggests, these are made by mixing two types of fiber. Polycoat is a mixture of polyester and cotton. Polywool is a mixture of polyester and wool like that so on we wear sweaters and use salts or blankets in winter many of these are actually not made from natural one though they appear to resemble wool these are prepared from another type of synthetic fiber called acrylic okay the wool obtained from natural sources is quite expensive whereas clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheap they are available in a variety of colors. Synthetic fibers are more durable and affordable which makes them more popular than natural fibers. You have already performed an activity of burning natural and synthetic fibers. Activity 3.6 of class 7. What did you observe? When you burn synthetic fibers, you find that their behavior is different from that of the natural fibers. You must have noticed that synthetic fibers melt on heating. This is actually a disadvantage of synthetic fibers. If the clothes catch fire, it can be uh, disastrous. Okay, The fabric melts and sticks to the body of the person wearing it. We should therefore not wear synthetic clothes while working in the kitchen or in a laboratory. So this precaution we have to uh kept in our mind okay oh no now i understand why mother never wears polyester clothes while working in the kitchen so you have to aware in your home also all the synthetic fibers are prepared by a number of processes using raw materials of petroleum origin called petrochemicals so all the synthetic fibers obtained from these petrochemicals now we move to the some characteristic of synthetic fibers imagine that it is a rainy day what kind of umbrella you use and why synthetic fibers possess unique characteristics which make them popular dress material they dry up quickly and durable less expensive readily available and easy to maintain so these are the characteristic of synthetic fibers perform the following activity and learn for yourself take two clothes piece of the same size roughly half a meter square each one of these should be from natural fiber the other could be a synthetic fiber you can take help of your parents in selecting these pieces soak the piece in different mugs each containing the same amount of water Take the piece out of the containers after 5 minutes and spread them in the sun for a few minutes. Compare the volume of the water remaining in each container. Do synthetic fibers soak less or more water from than the natural fabrics? Do they take less or more time to dry? What does this activity tell you about the characteristics of synthetic fibers? Find out from your parents about the durability, cost and maintenance of these fabrics compared to the natural fibers. So if you do this activity, you can easily understood that which uh, fibers will be used in rainy season. Okay, because natural fiber uh, soak more water as compared to synthetic fiber and synthetic fiber dries up quickly. Okay, as we read already there characteristics 
so if you do this activity you can easily understand now uh, we read about the plastics in next class thank you